Hey guys, and welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. So it is the end of the year, the end of 2019, uh, which also means it's the end of this decade. Now, this decade in $2 coins has really been the decade of the coloured $2 coin, uh, because prior to uh, 2012, there were no coloured $2 coins, or really no coloured coins that were put into circulation. So I wanted to take this look now as it is the end of the decade, to look at the uh, $2 coins and speak about their value. So I've got a selection in front of us here. Now the reason why I've got this selection of coins in front of us here is that these coins, if you go to the Royal Australian Mint website and you look at the $2 mintages, you will not find any of these coins listed. So you may think, well, why is that? Well, the reason is, is that these coins are collector coin production and that's the way they're listed in the um, in the annual report each year so I've kept these out because we'll just quickly just focus on these ones because they are colored coins and they were produced in the last decade and so uh, these ones here the first slide here are the 2016 Olympic Games then we have the 2017 possum magic the 2018 Commonwealth Games coins, the 2019 Mr. Squiggle series, and then we also just have the individual, uh, what's this, the Wallabies uh, World Cup coin. So $2 coin. So each of these coins are not listed on the Royal Australian Mint website. They can be found in the annual reports. But let's just quickly go through and have a look at their production numbers as well as well, well, we'll focus generally on them. These coins here, they're all around the 2 million mintage, each of them. I actually had trouble finding the mintage on the Commonwealth Games coins in the annual report. I don't know why, I just kept missing it, or but I'm, I'm gathering that it's possibly around the 2 million mark. So I will correct that if I do find that in the future. But all the rest of them are 2 million. Uh, this particular one, the 2019 Wallaby, is still an interim figure along with the Mr. Squiggle series, but we would assume that that won't change and that these guys will remain at 2 million. Now, all of these coins here, being at a mintage of 2 million, have a fairly similar price range as well. I've had a look and I've compared eBay sold figures on each of these coins nothing really su su um, surprising and and these guys can be picked up for around the four dollars each so double the money there might be some postage still involved in that but yeah look nothing super special and because a lot of these coins have been minted a lot of them are in high grade and can still be picked up in uncirculated condition for around that four dollar mark so well worth looking out for those if you haven't got, um, haven't been able to find these. They are all in circulating, uh, in circulation, and can be found. So uh, I think each and every one of these have possibly come out of circulation. Ones that I've got here in front of us today. So now we're going to go through the ones from that are listed on the Royal Australian Mint website, and we're going to go through all the way. We'll start at 2010. We won't focus on each and every Aboriginal elder coin, but we will go through and pick out the ones that are special and, of course, the $2 coloured coins. Alright guys, so I've gone and cleared all those coins away and we'll start with the coins that are of, uh, of um, importance. And a lot of these are of, of importance because they are low mintage or because they are coloured coins. So the 2010 coin, obviously, is the start of the uh, decade. Nothing really special there, so we're going to jump straight to the 2011, which is the lowest minted Aboriginal elder as of uh, as of well the current date. So, and we're talking today on the 31st of uh, of December 2019. So, basically, the 2011 Aboriginal elder to our coin had a mintage of 1.8 million. So that's a low low mintage coin. So based on uh, eBay figures, and I had a look just a little while ago just to sort of see what these guys have been selling for on average. And so I'll put an average price of $7 on these guys. 
and uh, we will put that one down there we'll we'll slowly fill the screen as we go through so let's jump straight to this coin which is the 2012 red poppy coin okay so this is the one that everyone wants to own these days it's uh, a very special coin and uh, you can find these in circulation usually they will be chipped and fairly damaged but uh, they can be found so mintage of only 500,000 so extremely low mintage and these things have really skyrocketed in price over the last probably two to three years they've really started moving and they probably sat as a sleeper coin for most of the decade so these guys here these guys range in price I've, and i've seen sales these are sold figures anywhere from 90 dollars up to 150 dollars so quite remarkable really that these guys uh, have got to such high values there it is there the 2012 coin so i'll pop that one down the back there the uh the other coin that also was released that year was the gold version of this coin so no color and it is the 2012 as well now these things here had a mintage of 5.8 million so not necessarily really low and i have noticed on occasion that these things are starting to move in price a little bit and i've noticed that these guys have been selling for around the four to five dollar mark but i have seen some other ones that have been selling for even higher than that but uh in in uncirculated condition you can certainly pick these up for four or five dollars each so that move that makes us move on to another special coin which is from 2013 which is the coronation coin and there it is there the purple coronation these things here have always been a favorite to try and find and you will find these in circulation there are a few more going around with a mintage of 1 million total and uh so based on sold figures in circulated condition these things can be found for around 23 dollars and they have been pushing 40 dollars plus in uncirculated condition so if uh if you can get yourself some of these at a lower price certainly well worth getting if you don't have one and that's the 2013 coronation coin with a million in circulation the next one that came out this decade was the remembrance coin and this is referred to as the green it's the peace coin with the dove in the in the center there and I'll try and keep it steady so you can see it from all angles and this one here is from 2014 and uh, once again prices are starting to move on these a little bit very slowly uh, mintage on these guys was 1.85 million and i've seen these selling in circulated condition for around seven dollars and in uncirculated condition for thirteen dollars now this coin is from 2015 and this is the red anzac coin lest we forget coin I hope you can see all the detail there and see the three crosses now this coin here is extremely difficult to find in circulation most of these were released in bags from the mint to the banks and i remember there was a absolute craze uh, a frenzy really to try and get a hold of these coins uh, a lot of them were snapped up in bags and never broken up and never really made it into circulation so it is very difficult to find these but the good thing is is that these can be found in uncirculated condition for around five dollars and they had a mintage of 1.46 million so another low mintage coin uh, but you will struggle to find these in circulation i've actually only ever found one in circulation in all those years uh, I was able to get plenty of bags of them though, uh, which was, I did have to pay more than face value for those, but uh, I was able to get a fair few. Also that year, 
came this little beauty, which I absolutely love. It's a great design. And uh, this one is in Flanders Field. It's got the poem written in the background there. It's the orange coin, technically referred to. And uh, as you can see there, the poem in the background and the birds flying around. So that down there is also from 2015. So this one came out uh, around the remembrance time of the year. So November, possibly October. So if I refer to my notes, these guys had a mintage of 2.15 million and are currently selling in uncirculated condition for around $6 each. Now, I'm pretty sure this one is next, which is also a Remembrance coin. Now, there was no Anzac or Remembrance coins released in 2016. There were plenty of other, the Olympic coins, uh, the changeover coins were released, uh, but nothing in the uh, in the April or the, uh, uh, well, in the, what was it, probably November for Remembrance. But uh, this one here came out in 2017. And where is my figures on this one? Uh, this one actually came out late in 2017. Really, I should be talking about this one. This one came out earlier in the year. This was, this is the Lest We Forget one, which would have came out in the April. So technically the Anzac time, Anzac day. So the 2017 one. That one there has a mintage, which is a fairly high mintage of 3.98 million. Okay, so most of these coins have been around that 2 million mark. This one certainly jumped up. And uh, these ones in uncirculated condition can be bought for four dollars each. And then back to the remembrance one, so the November one, which has a mintage of 2.1 million, so almost half of the other one. And uh, these can also be picked up for around the four dollar mark. Then we move on to 2018, and uh, there's another beautiful coin. And this one here is the Lest We Forget coin, so it's the Eternal Flame coin, as we can see there, 2018. Now, these ones here had a mintage of 5.4 million, so probably, uh, well, it's at more than a, almost a million and a half more than the 2017 mosaic coin but uh or the lest we forget coin so 5.4 million is certainly our highest colored coin mintage these guys even though they got a 5.4 you can still buy them for around the four dollars each now we also have in 2018 the armistice coin okay so that's that guy there now these had a mintage of 1.6 million okay so these guys being a fairly new coin can be found for around four dollars each in uncirculated condition So the next coin on our list is this Invictus Games coin, uh, which also came out in 2018. No colour on this coin, but it is classed as a low mintage coin with just 2 million uh, produced for circulation. These guys are also can be found for $4 each in uncirculated condition. There we have it there, so 2018. So those two will go there. 2019 uh, is an interesting year because we've got the changeover of effigy, so the Queen's Head. Uh, but this coin here has the uh, IRB Queen's Head on it. And this is the $2 coin representing the 100 years of repatriation. So that one there is a great design as well. And uh, one of our newest $2 coins. Mintage on this is said to be 2 million, but it is an interim figure, so it will be confirmed 
in the next annual report which will come out in late October 2020 but we would we would think it's probably going to stay around that uh, also it can be found for four dollars each now the next few coins which one we got here let's grab this one so this is uh, a relatively new release so it's the police coin fairly certain it came out in around august september of 2019 uh, also interim figures two million based on what we know so far and also can be picked up for around four dollars so a lot of a lot of the more recent coins are situated around that four dollar mark and uh, certainly can be picked up fairly easily on ebay or through other facebook sites and those kind of things so the other interesting couple of coins that we've got for 2019 which are unknown figures as of yet and that's because we've had the uh the changeover in in effigy as we can see in front of us both of these are aboriginal elder two dollar coins just like that these are in uncirculated condition and really uh, time will determine what price these guys are and through time we'll get to learn the mintage of these coins and uh, that'll really determine what the price will be but they're possibly still around that set of four dollar mark at the moment but they are listed as low mintage purely because we don't know the full figures as of yet so stay tuned for that and uh that'll probably be about it for this year guys so we will know more in the next little while in the next sort of uh year or so what some of the prices on these coins will do uh purely based on mintage reports and those kind of things and certainly some of the values of these coins will keep pushing on further as time goes by and they become more and more uh, difficult to source high quality uncirculated coins so guys i hope you've enjoyed this uh little look back at uh, the last decade of two dollar coins what really made the two dollar coin because prior to that the two dollar coin was a very boring coin with uh fairly high mintage so nothing super special so uh the mint have really done a great job in uh in bringing on on new collectors who have been uh certainly able to find these coins in circulation and therefore hold on to them and uh i hope um i've been able to be be helpful in uh in in this in this way by showing you exactly which coins are worth holding on to and uh, anything else that's sort of in between you can collect one or two of but uh, these guys here in front of us are certainly well worth holding on to because prices and certainly if you look back at the 2012 2013 2014 you'll see that those sort of prices have moved a little bit further from uh from their well their face value of two dollars so all right, guys, that is it for the year. Wish you all a very happy new year and, uh, and a safe 2020. All right, guys, thanks for watching and bye for now.